Option Addicts, what's going on? Sorry I'm arriving a little bit late, but uh, had some personal things going on yesterday I had to take care of. So anyway, here with my watch list for the week. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got 10 minutes to get through this, and there's too many darn things to go over. So patterns is going to be the topic for today, and I'll mention a few that I talked about yesterday and incorporate some that I also spoke of in my trading room this morning. Uh, Busiris, we're going to start off as number one. Uh, B is CY, nice symmetrical triangle based on the support and resistance lines that I'm illustrating here. Just waiting for a breakout, either to the upside or downside. Now keep in mind, uh, you know, as as pattern traders, you're going to have to deal with market conditions, which can be, you know, pretty rough. Um, it can cause things to break to one side or the other. So just be really cognizant of the market before you take any of these trades. Uh, next, I'm going to go to symbol AL. Uh, same thing going on here. In fact, I've got quite a bit of symmetrical triangles on my radar this week. It seems like just based on the markets, you know, kind of setting up a similar pattern, everything's kind of following the same thing. So. Hopefully this means we break out to the upside, but it doesn't mean I'm not a little bearish on the market. <clears throat> Next I'm going to go to ASF, Administaff. Same thing, but after a big old jump to the downside here, also having a nice little, little coil action going on down here at the bottom of this little trend. So keep ASF on the radar. Again, for, uh, for those who are new to pattern trading, what you want to do here is measure the distance between your support and resistance on these which for example on ASF is about four and a half points. And when the stock finally break out, excuse me, breaks out either to the upside or the downside, you would project the four point, four and a half point target that we're expecting to one direction or the other. And normally that's, uh, you know, at least that's how I trade. Uh, next I'm going to move over to Coach, COH, and boom, yet another symmetrical triangle. So let me throw a couple lines on this guy here. There we've got a triangle. Whoop de do. All right, next one. I'm gonna diversify here with a bear flag. Downward trend. Again, I, I like to talk about this head and shoulders pattern. I think it was a great trade. But now we're starting to set up a little bit of a bear flag. And I'll draw my flag going here. The base of my flag starting at just under 25. So I think we've got a lot of room to drop if this thing breaks through the target I have drawn right here. So break support at 23, you got about, you know, what is it, a two and a half, three dollar drop to the downside. To keep the ball rolling, I'm going to look at CRS and boom, another symmetrical triangle. Let's try it something like that. Okay, so a lot of these are right at their apex, setting up pretty nicely. Uh, CTSH. You could even call this guy a symmetrical triangle also. Something like that. Watch for breakouts. All these patterns are basically is coils winding tighter. Uh, GRP. Somebody mentioned this on the blog, and I forgot the name. Otherwise, I'd give them full credit for this trade. Uh, but nice little bull flag. And, and from, a, from an illustrative point of view, they don't get too much better than this. Upward trend. Nice uh, start down here at about, what, 42 or so. Uh, that's a great pattern. Yesterday confirmed, albeit on some pretty weak volume. Speaking of volume, I don't know why it always hi <coughs> hides my volume for some reason. Unbelievable. We're wasting time here. There we go. <coughs> okay, so it broke out on some pretty weak volume. So I don't know if I'm ready to take that trade, but I like the formation. Uh, Lufkin, we're watching this massive symmetrical triangle formed, and then all of a sudden we got a little potential inverse head and shoulders going on. But uh, it looks like it's failing at this neckline here. That's not the neckline. Those are the I'm just trying to connect the two shoulders here. But I should move that a little bit more. There we go. Something like this. It closed right at that neckline yesterday. And this thing might look a little ugly to you. <laughs> but in my eyes, I saw something going on there. Potentially a reversal in this. So if you took a longer term trade on Lufkin, keep an eye on the volume as it starts to ramp up to the upside here. It might be a cause of concern to stay in that trade for too much longer. Next one is nice. Another symmetrical triangle consisting of 
lower highs, higher lows. Voila. Portfolio recovery. And this one's kind of kind of weird looking, but kind of a massive pattern going on here, if you will. Lines are drawn perfectly, but stay with me on that. I still think there's kind of a triangle going on there. <clears throat> SLB. More of a flag breakout on this one. So mixing it up, not all triangles today. And I'm going to highlight this pattern from about yeah, this time frame here. Overall, kind of a sideways trending stock. So as we approach resistance, keep that on your radar. It might be a reason to get out of a trade if you took any interest in the stock. ATI, which is a uh, usually a listener favorite, doing the same thing. A little consolidation going on here. Looking to take a trade if we see a breakout. Speaking of uh, old reliable, Martin Marietta doing the exact same thing. I guess the support line's already drawn. I'll just move that one a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Symmetrical triangle. Looking for a breakout. Uh, Armor Holdings, AH. Might have to use the lows instead of the closing prices on this guy, but still got kind of a triangle brewing there. Fastenal, FAST. I like this as a bearish idea, but it didn't form that lower low when I took that trade that I got out of. So now I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to wait for a breakout of this guy before I do anything else with it. <clears throat> Ralph Lauren. Good uptrending stock. Got a similar pattern going on over here in the retail space. Watching for a breakout of Ralph Lauren. CYMI. I'd say this one has a little more of a bearish tone to it. And looking at something like that. And again, if you if you have something like this ever on your charts that just you know kind of gets outside of your pattern, I always like to go up and change my graphs to line charts to plot closing prices. And I move that and you know we're we're pretty darn close. We're right at it. So anyway. Uh descending triangle on Cyber, pretty good one at that. Waiting for a break of support there at about 40. Next, Reliance Steel. Let's see, I might have to move this, there we go. Oh, and it went away. Okay, so support rising, resistance falling, symmetrical triangle. Easy as that. Monsanto, M-O-N. Boom, you guys are seeing this, right? I mean, this is really hard stuff here that I'm doing. These patterns are just jumping out all over the place. All you have to do is run any kind of a search. You're going to see symmetrical triangles everywhere. I'm keeping T-E-N on the list because I didn't really get the big volume from last week. So if I... Uh, Moved this resistance line just a little bit. Still waiting for some big volume before I take a trade on that guy. And then a couple other breakouts I, I think you ought to keep an eye on today. ATW, got about a minute left to go. ATW breaking some pretty good resistance here recently. Big volume on that break. In fact, some might even call that a triangle itself. Next, BGC. This one had kind of a symmetrical triangle already that broke out. VIP, I saw that one, uh, obviously being talked about on the blog yesterday. Nice, nice uh, ascending triangle that popped huge yesterday. I don't know how much room is left, is left in that guy to go. Middle B, MIDD. It's just more of a kind of a 52 week high, I guess you'd say. Nothing extravagant. JOSB, that was the, that was the big explosion from yesterday. That's J-O-S-B. Good sideways action. And then, boom, finally knocked itself out of that sideways channel there. AAP, like this guy. And if I were to move this up. There we go. Had a new 52-week high yesterday. Probably looking at a retest today. Moving right along. SII, not, not really a... Huge breakout because if you go to a, uh, a one year chart, you still got some slight resistance overhead. But keep that on your eye for a big breakout. I got like 50 seconds here. H A N S. 
Actually, that was a uh, resistance bounce. Looking to take a bearish trade on that. And I got to wrap up, folks. We're right at that 10-minute mark. So it was nice to see you today. Hope you have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.